guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to do a quick little video on um, Fridays and what a great feeling it is to know that you have accomplished the week and um, I know a lot of you probably work on the weekends or whatnot, but I am so lucky and so blessed to be able to go home on a Friday and feel like I did my job and I worked hard and really just enjoy my weekend and enjoy my kids and enjoy spending time with my family. And I think that that's so important. Sometimes we, we lose sight in taking the little moments uh, for what they are and not taking them for granted because we can get so caught up in this story that we call life that we forget to remember um, the, the, the moments in our lives that are important to ourselves and our family and we, we forget to stop and, and really spend time with the people that we love and, and do things that we love. And that to me is so much more important than going out and spending an arm and a leg on, on, you know, an activity or an entertainment or whatnot. And I think that part of my channel, what I want it to be is family-based um, information and how important it is to keep family in your life and how important it is to, um, especially when you're a mother, to not beat yourself up when you don't have the money to do this or you don't have the money to do that. And I beat myself up a lot, too, because my kids are almost, like, too spoiled. And I feel like I've made a lot of mistakes in that department where I tend to give my kids and give my kids and give my kids, and I forget that they need to be able to learn good life lessons in the process. I have really great kids. I'm very blessed. My son and my daughter our wonderful children. They uh, they have great hearts. They're very kind and very passionate about what they do and who they are. Um, but I feel like a lot of my fault uh, as a mother and a lot of my flaws and downside are because I give in too easily and I give my kids everything they want without any kind of working hard or um, earning it, I guess you could say. Now, when I ask them to do things for me, of course, like every kid, it's a little bit difficult to get them to do it. But for the most part, my kids are very helpful. And they do a lot of, um, you know, they do help me a lot and support me a lot. And my husband is the same way. He does a lot of, of things for me. And I'm very appreciative and very blessed to have the family that I have. But I just wish that there was a way... And if any of you have any inv any advice for me, I wish that there was a way to not feel so guilty about giving my kids, you know, things that are nice and things that they should have and things that they want. I wish that there was a way that I could do that and not feel guilty uh, for giving them that. And I guess there probably is by like having them earn it and having them work for it. And that's really important. I think as, as they, as your children grow and, um, it's crucial as a mother and as a father and as a parent or a guardian to teach your kids that it is important to work hard and it is important to have a foundation for the things that you have and I have always been an advocate for working hard and making sure that you're you know constantly having something to do and I guess my husband says that it's one of my biggest not flaws but um, something that I, I have a tendency to do where I always have to be doing something I always have to be doing something and I do agree because I feel like my brain is bored if I just sit and watch TV or I sit and like relax my relaxing is is the makeup part and the, the passion that I have for that but I do think that I have a tendency to always be, keep going always keep going always keep going I don't know how I got from my kids to this but we'll we'll go with it uh, and something that I want to work on and something that my hope is for this channel to help me is that I would really like to find a way uh, to focus on just not always having to be doing something and not always having to be moving or not always having to be busy or not always having to be chaotic or stressed or whatever. 
because at the end of the day, again, moments pass so quickly by, and it is so important to not lose yourself in always having something to do and always being busy. And it is, there's something to be said for stop and smell the roses, you know that saying? Because sometimes when we do that, we're able to see things that we wouldn't normally be able to see when we're always moving and always going. So, uh, again, I'm just starting this channel and I'm just, you know, building what I want to do and what I want to talk about. But I do think that some of my focus um, is going to be to talk about my own experiences with raising my children and talk about my own obstacles with raising my children. Again, it's a motherhood and makeup channel, so I want to talk about some of my own obstacles, things that I've had to overcome to make sure that I'm raising good little people and make sure that they understand that the world doesn't hand you things, you know, they, they that there's nothing that you're entitled to and nothing that you should deserve it's all about working hard which both of my kids do my daughter is a straight A student my son it works very hard in school they're both extremely bright brilliant children and again I'm very blessed but at the same time I think talking through this and having this channel and kind of giving myself advice is going to really help me grow as a mom and grow as a person. And I'm excited for that journey. So if any of you have any advice or um, what you do to kind of help your kids realize that nothing in life is free. And you have to work for everything that you do. And you have to be able to take the consequences or take the good with the bad or vice versa. And I think that... If I got some of that advice and I was able to kind of see what you guys do and some things that you guys, um, you know, try as being a parent, then maybe I could try those same things and it would help with a little bit of my issue with this as well. Anyway, I am on my way to go purchase a camera. I'm super excited about that. I've located um, a couple at Target and a couple at Best Buy. And I'm going to go look at those and see if I can find um, any lighting or microphones or anything that's not on Amazon because I hate to wait for shipping. I do have Amazon Prime, but I'm so impatient. I'm such an impatient person. I don't want to wait for the stuff to get here. I want like instant gratification. I want to set it all up. I want to learn about it. So if you, any of you know where to find lighting or microphones or any kind of um, other system that I could use for my channel, please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and hopefully my next video tonight when I film my skincare or when I film my, um, any kind of like makeup type stuff will be on a better camera. I feel like the vlogs and where I'm just talking to you are probably okay with, um, uh, me just talking on my phone or my iPad, but I do want a better quality camera when I do tutorials or when I film certain kinds of, of ideas or certain kinds of videos. So again, thank you so much for tuning in. Please subscribe. I'm so excited to be on this journey with you guys, and I'm so excited that you're a part of it from the start, from the beginning, and they will get better, and I'll get the hang of the editing and the intro and the outro, but these first few videos, I do just want to kind of introduce myself and talk through things and... Um, you know, like every YouTube person starts out with the really crappy quality um, and they kind of learn their way and they learn um, just kind of what to do and, and what not to do and things like that. So thanks again for tuning in, guys. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you're notified when my videos do get better, when I do upload a video. And remember, don't ever let anybody tell you that you have to be something that you don't want to be. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day.